Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. Today's video is a review of a crochet kit that I got off of the Wish app. If you are not familiar with the Wish app, then I will link in the description box below a link that you can use to download this app. And if you use this link to download, then you will get a small discount off of your first purchase with the app. This is an app where you can pretty much buy anything off of. I mainly use it for small items that have to do with crochet or with my general interest in fiber arts, but you can buy clothes and electronics and a lot of different things off of that app. So check it out. Link is in the description box below. And as I've said, if you use that link, then you will get a small discount off of your first purchase. So I bought this kit off of the app, especially because of the price. I was just browsing the app and I saw the price. It was mighty cheap for what it is. It cost about 15 euros and I think that translates to about 17 American dollars. I thought it was a good price uh, for what was offered. It comes in this very nice leather red case and I will open it up and show you exactly what the kit is. This is the set and as you can see this set of hooks is pretty much interchangeable hooks and one handle. So all of these hooks fit on this one handle and it comes in eight different sizes of hooks and one handle. So whenever you need to change a hook size, all you do is take the head off and change to a different size hook. Um, I want to look at the hooks themselves first. Um, they come in eight different sizes, as I have said, and I can see that the smallest size here is the size three millimeter crochet hook. And it is pretty clear what size each hook is. I think it's written very clearly and it's it doesn't look like something that will rub off because yeah it is um, engraved into the metal. So it's not just uh, printed on there or it, it is it is engraved. And the hook itself um, looks just like one of those regular crochet hook kits, you know, the basic ones with the metal hooks that you get. I have one of those and I use it quite often, so I don't think that the shape of the hook will be a problem for me, but we're gonna try it out and see. The sizes we have here are a three millimeter, a three and a half, a four, a four and a half, a five, a five and a half, a six millimeter and a seven millimeter. Okay, that is a nice selection of hooks. And I must say that the fact that there is a seven millimeter here and not an eight millimeter already makes this set a bit different than the normal crochet hook sets that you get. Uh, most of the time, if you buy a set of hooks, you will get a three, a three and a half, a four, a four and a half, a five, a five and a half, a six and an eight. So to get a seven millimeter here is quite um, unique or it, it is quite different, but I think it's very useful. I personally have a few sets of hooks and I had to buy my sevens separately because they didn't come with a set. So it's very nice that this specific set does have the seven. On this side are the extras and the extras here are a set of locking stitch markers and a set of cable needles. That is a bit strange because this is used in knitting and not in crochet. So I personally wouldn't include the these needles in a crochet hook set and I'm not sure why it comes like this. For me personally those um, needles will be useful because I do knit but I think that for a crocheter um, that's a shame, it's a waste. They could have put a different extra in there. It has more to do with crochet than with knitting. So for now, this is the first weird, odd thing that I find about this kit. Um, I'm going to take out the handle now and let's take a look at it. 
so it's very light that's nice it's not very long but it does fit my hand and I assume that when you attach the head here then you might get a larger grip surface here but yeah well if you if you're placing your thumb on this um, on this metal uh, flat part here um, then then you know it only it only comes to half of my palm it is a bit short um, but we will see once the head of the hook is on there I'm gonna try to attach one of these heads and when I look at the handle it looked like there is this cross here in the middle so this is where we will slide our crochet hook into and the there doesn't seem to be a certain direction I think you can yeah it doesn't matter you can pretty much insert it any way you want it seems to be quite sturdy yeah okay so let's try and crochet with this now that my hook is all put together it does seem to be long enough um, it does fit nicely in my hand however my thumb is sitting on this bump here and not on this flat surface so maybe I don't know maybe if you're a pencil grip holder it might be um, comfortable for you but I hold my hooks like a knife and if I have my hands here where this flat surface is then I don't feel like I have good control of the hook I will have to hold it like this so the placing of this flat surface here is not ideal for me um, but let's see how it works Okay, chaining seems to be going quite easily. I'm going to just put a few double crochets in here and let you know how it feels. The hook itself is pretty light and I feel like I have good control of it and there doesn't seem to be anything that's um, pulling the yarn or you know getting stuck there aren't any sharp edges or anything like that um, I would when I first saw it I would think that this part where the hook connects to the handle this here that it might get problematic but right now um, it doesn't really come in contact with my yarn at all so that's a good thing I'm working myself a swatch of just simple double crochets um, because you know I'm testing the hook I'm not testing the yarn so I don't see I don't see a reason to try different kinds of stitches um, but I do feel like the length of the handle is problematic specifically for my hands and my hands aren't that big so I'm just thinking if someone has bigger hands than mine this will be very very short for them but you know I worked two rows of double crochets with it um, my hook didn't get uh, caught up in anything so there aren't any sharp edges here around the connection side and so far um, this part here where my thumb was at um, isn't irritating my hand too much you can see there's this ridge here because this is the part that screws off and on and I would think that if you have your thumb on there the whole time and move your hook and move your hand move your thumb that it will start irritating you at some point um, but that's you know me specifically and the way I 
feel things. I, it's very individual between different people. Um, different things irritate your skin. So I have a feeling that the handle will be the biggest problem for me personally. As a hook, it's a pretty good hook. Like I said, um, the metal hooks, they look just like those set of simple metal hooks that you can get at any store. The yarn slides very nicely and it doesn't get caught up in anything, but in terms of comfortable grip, it's not a very comfortable grip for my hands. It might be better for, for a a child or for a person as I've said if you are a pencil gripper then this is exactly placed right where your thumb should hold a hook so if you grip your hooks this way then you shouldn't have any problem with this handle at all because your fingers wouldn't even get near this part which I said would irritate my thumb and you will have a very good grip because it has these flat surfaces on both sides of the hook. However, if you are a knife holder like me, holding it here will not give you enough control on the hook and holding it here will not be very comfortable for long um, use. My overall impressions of this kit are, I think the handle is a bit too short for people like me who hold their hooks like a knife. I think it's a nice idea that you have eight different sizes and I do like that the eighth size here is a seven millimeter and not an eight. However, I don't get why we get a set of these needles that have to do with knitting and not with crochet. And I don't really like that um, in the same size of case, you could have just fit eight different hooks. So if you make something that's purpose is all in one, um, the casing could have made, could have been made more compact so that you wouldn't feel like, hey, I could have just grabbed my set of hooks with me instead of this. For the purpose of comparison, I grabbed my hook set um, that has different size hooks in it and I just want to show you this is a set that I got for Christmas a few years ago as a gift and it has those metal hooks I was talking about all size of them and including those um, steel hooks with the smaller sizes on the other side and so this size case fits all the size of the hooks and it's not that much bigger than this one, which only has the handle with the different tops. And if I place them one on top of the other, you can see that the difference in size is really not that big. And so I feel like this kit could have been more useful, more compact if it was smaller. And then it would actually make sense to me to say this is an on-the-go kit um, you can just grab it and put it in any bag and it will be more efficient than grabbing and taking all of your hooks with you but you know it's nice as a gift it's nice as a gimmick there are a lot of people who like this kind of stuff and if you buy a gift to one of your crochet friends preferably if they are a pencil grip uh, people then this would be very nice you know this is something that says I got you something that you wouldn't see in the store necessarily get for yourself it's a nice gadget and that's pretty much it about this kit I think and if you want to win this kit this specific one the one I use for the review then leave a comment in the comment section and tell me I want this kit. So from all the people who commented under this specific video with the words I want this kit, I will choose one person and they will receive this one. The reason I'm not keeping it for myself is as I've said on the review this is just not something that I personally will use. When I bought it 
I thought I would check it out and see. And now after I tried it for a bit, it's just not for me. But maybe one of you guys out there is watching and saying, but it is for me. So I would love to give it to you. So leave it a comment and tell me what you think about this kit and let me know if you want it. And I will choose a winner sometimes in the coming weeks. Thank you all very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.